Hey guys, welcome back to the show. What's up, people? I am Krish, and this is Mikey, and we are bringing you football frenzy on Anfield Times. So we're here to talk about the 2018-2019 Premier League season. Yes. What a finish to the season. I mean, such a close title race. Liverpool and City at each other's necks. What a run for the Premier League. But at the end of the day. Liverpool he has to be the sole losers, yeah, that's why I'm feeling a little down right now, guys. But, I'm very proud of my team. You should be, man. I mean, we still came second. Just one loss in the entire season in the Premier League. I mean, that has to be some sort of a record. And the only match that they lost this season was to Manchester City. I hope you guys remember that. And that was a 2-1 scoreline. That was a little harsh on uh, Liverpool, but... Nevertheless, they have shown tremendous character this season to perform as well as they have. But thank you, thank you, Mr. Malik. Going into the next season, uh, Mikey, do you think Liverpool has a chance of winning the Premier League next season, like as the favourites? Do they definitely, go in? Definitely, definitely. I would say that we have put the building blocks in. We have built the structure finally back again, and with just two, three more my marquee signings. Like, we don't even need to buy superstars. Just like normal squad players, like this wonderful kid from uh, Lille, that French club. Yeah, Lille. Yeah, Lille. Nicolas Pepe. That guy is 23 years old and he had the best season. And yeah. Manchester United, Juventus, everybody's after him. I think we should go sign him. He would be a brilliant addition to the attacking because Sturridge is going to be gone this season. After yeah. this season, he's a free agent. So, most probably like someone like West Ham or an Everton or a Spurs are going to come and take him off he the books deserves, for us. He deserves that chance to go out and play football, you know. Yeah. I mean, because of Firmino playing I as mean, the number how, one yeah, striker. How long will you agree to be number two to like yeah. someone? So He's I mean, had two years of that. You can have a bright, speedy youngster as a striker ahead, as a backup for Roberto like, Firmino. Like a... Gabriel Jesus, something like that. Yeah, who is ready to be number two to Sergio Aguero for like the coming time yeah but we know like if Sergio is out injured for like two months yeah, he can this step guy in. can take it but what what do you and think about up to it what do you think about Diva Purigi he's a very good second yeah. to Roberto Firmino what, do you really no, think I, you need I, a striker I got a better question for you do you think Jurgen is gonna play Diva Purigi after the semi-final he had in the final tell us guys I mean it's gonna be so hard for him not to you know, the way Divo Kurigi has Salah been playing. is going to be fit, Firmino is going to be fit. We're going to have our whole team back together. But so then, I think he would be like, yeah, he agreed. Would, yeah, I know, you know, he would sit on the bench. Yeah, he would He would but, like his team to win. Yeah, and that's the, that's the point. I mean, come June 1st, you have a Tottenham but Spurs But it's going to be so hard for Spurs to, for Pochettino to leave out Lucas. First, you're going to have like, a team like Tottenham, who are going to be fit, they're going to have Daily Ali, Harry Kane back and they have the same conundrum Fuck. with Lucas Moura Fuck. who was the hat-trick hero against Ajax to take them to the finals Fuck, what a match guys And that is why our channel is kids friendly so we are going to beep out everything that Ayush just said right Shit, now I'm sorry guys That's alright but you know Spurs and Poole have a point to prove this season and I think that's going to be one heck of a game tune in for our next episode we're gonna talk about the roundup of manchester city and how they've been playing this season all right man till then please like subscribe and share uh join our page anfield.times let us know in the comments what you think and till next time thank you peace